This year has a special beginning, a special meaning, because it is the Shnas Hakhel. It is the time when the Beis Hamikdash was existent materially. Also, it was the time that the Sukkot, as preparation for it, had begun at the beginning of the year to gather all the people, all the Jewish people together in the same place, in the same time, for the same purpose, to hear God Almighty's Torah and to take upon themselves to fulfill it during all the year round. It was the year of Hakel, Tavshin Memchas. And the Rebbe inspired families and synagogues and groups, everyone to make um, events and gatherings to bring in the masses, um, men, women, and children, to inspire them with the growth of Torah and mitzvahs. So I made a haklota then, it was just my wife and I at that time, that every month we'll make some sort of a masiba connected to some event, so Tu B'Shvat will be Tu B'Shvat, but every month it'll, it'll happen. Then every Shabbos we'll start making Kiddushim and Chavat House and monthly gatherings for kids. הייתי פעיל בבית חב"ד חולון, עשינו מהפכה בעיר. היה כל חודש כינוס של 5,000 ילד, 3,000 ילד, 2,000 ילדים, 6,000 ילדים, תלוכס. כל שנה זה היה, כל חודש היה. And the end of the year, I wrote the Rebbe Duch of all the different... Uh, the Rebbe gave a very warm bracha. Meskabul, v'tach, v'tabimamshich. I Rebbe, אני מקווה שיש נחת רוח לרבי מעבודתנו. אז הרבי, הייתי בטוב בחור. הרבי כתב לי, פס למה נחת רוח רב. There would be a time that anyone who was doing an event during that upcoming week, so they would go up to the Rebbe, and the Rebbe would pour them a little bit of mashke, a little l'chaim, in a little one-ounce shot glass. And then they would announce what the event is, and the Rebbe would give them the rest of the bottle to distribute at whatever hakel event that they were having. Rabbi Rafi Tenenhaus had a connection with um, the Miami Dolphins to the owner. And he worked diligently on getting uh, them to agree to light the menorah. That Shabbos of Hanukkah, and I walk up to the Rebbe, and the Rebbe pours a little mashke into my cup. And um, I turn around and I said, Imir Hashem, Morgen by Nacht, Bet Farkum, in Amasibis Hakel. When they had Lachis Nader's uh, ceremony, then the Miami Dolphins, Velen Spillin, the Washington Redskins, in the Joe Rabbi Stadium, Fazibitzik Toysen Mansion. And the Rebbe says, says to me, Das Alumin Einladen. You have to invite them all. Because everybody else would say at the end, they would say, Alazin Eingeladen. And, but I didn't, because who would think to do such a thing for this type of an event? And the Rebbe instructed me, that day, it's no different. You know, you got to invite everybody. And I turned around and I said, Allah is an And I turned to the Rebbe and he's again in a big smile and he gives me the bottle of mashka. I was just past my 16th birthday. My brother Andy came home from college. So Sunday night to go to 
uh, big football game towards the end of the season was a, was a very exciting opportunity for us. We are in Miami, Florida, where the Miami Dolphins at seven and six will face the ten and three Washington Redskins. The Miami Dolphins were really the biggest show in town. It was a packed crowd because it was a nationally televised Sunday night game. And then there's this announcement over the PA. They announced that it's Hanukkah and the rabbis from somewhere are gonna light the menorah. And lo and behold, this is the biggest menorah we'd ever seen it was in the end zone. It was just massive. We looked at each other, my brother and I, like, oh yeah, it's Hanukkah. We totally missed it. When you go to public school and you grew up in South Florida in the 1970s and 80s, it was a different world. You didn't always feel comfortable, people knowing who you were. Um, so it was a nice, it was a feeling of empowerment. It was a very proud moment for us. To be, to be witnessing that. We had never seen anything like it. Like those were our guys in the end zone. And uh, it was a great game. The Dolphins won, I remember that. It was a very proud moment for me and for my brother. It was certainly one of the important stops on the journey that made me want to become more observant and, and delve deeper in, into my Yiddishkeit. Today, I thank God, we have six children, Shama Shabbos, Shama Kashrus. And I'll talk a lago um flog by Yedel and by Yedel in Hakilas Homo Anoshi, Anoshi, Vata, Kimidubel, Il Barucho, Vaze Yedel, Dabdeston, and Kenderston, with my sleeves I need them, Kolechot, Mimkeyu, Bishkinosi, and Disvivosi. You never know who's watching. You never know who you're going to benefit, and you may never hear about it. You know, the, the spark is ready, it's waiting, and you might be the one to light it.